see a secret? Hey, look at me. My little miso. Hi friends, the name's Frederick. Don't forget it. Today, we're gonna be doing some makeup. It's been a while, hasn't it? Remember me? It's been a minute. I haven't done a sit down, get ready with me in a little bit, so I feel like we should catch up, you know? Let us catch up. A lot of you ask me for how we do my eye makeup and it's typically the same, so I'm gonna show you all seven different ways to do my normal eyes, my signature, if you will. I don't know if I'm allowed to have a signature yet. I'll show you the variations of what I normally do if I'm going out because the more flamboyant looks, I do it on TikTok and Instagram instead. Don't forget to follow me there. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? I'm about to do seven looks. That's effort. So put in the effort to subscribe. <laughs> so let me just take this off because we need to instantly start off with our base. By the way, if I look shiny, it's because of moisture and these lights. Don't make fun of my oily skin. One of us will not have wrinkles when we're older. Studies show that people who complain about people who have oily skin get wrinkles faster. I don't make up the rules. I'm actually going to try to be helpful and give you all some makeup tips. So first up, we're going to prime with our eyes. No. We're going to prime our eyes with an eye primer. This is Rare Beauty. This is also the Rare Beauty brush. Everything I'm using is going to be linked in the description. I don't use a concealer just because I'm oily enough. We don't need our eyelids to be oily. And also, concealer creases. Eye primers, not usually. And I'm doing my eyes first because I am a firm believer that it's better. You don't have to worry about fallout. You don't have to worry about your foundation getting oily while you're waiting because I take my time with eyeshadow. And if I put on my foundation first, it's going to be melt it off by the time I'm done. Also put some eye primer below just because it'll help the makeup stick and it helps your concealer not crease if you use concealer. I'm gonna start with the halo eye. Just an easy go-to look, monochromatic of course. We're using this palette. BH Cosmetics have the best shadows in my opinion because watch this, okay? Boop, boop, look at that. I don't make it up. BH, bring back this palette. Why would you get rid of this? This is the perfect palette for every Queer person, we need it, we deserve it. Also, we're going to do like a circular shape. You don't want it to do a wing. So kind of do like a half circle all over your eyes. So we're also gonna do it here, just like that. We're gonna keep that shape. I haven't even dipped it again. Look how much this carries over. I don't like to dip in all the time because like this two dips got both eyes. And when it's almost gone, I like to take it around the edge just so it's more diffused. We want like a good, sultry, sexy night out. You're looking like a Rudolph. Sexy Santa vibes. Now that that's done, we're gonna get a deeper red. I'm gonna go into the Sigma palette, taking this color, any darker burgundy shade. There's cat hair on this brush, Miso. And I'm gonna put it on the outer corners, like here and there. So how have y'all been doing? You good? <laughs> you holding up this summer? Apparently y'all are still in school. I have gone out of school for like a month and I already forget all concept of time. I don't know what day it is today. What I do know is that I look beautiful right now. I'm gonna try something. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a good idea or not. Taking a small brush, I tapped into the black once. The brown is making it more orangey and I'm trying to go more burgundy, but I don't think I have a burgundy color. So we're gonna have to do this instead. Starting to look, oh, this went, it is not nighttime yet, Frederick. It just doesn't look right. You wanna see if you can get a blue red. I only have orange reds, unfortunately, so. It sort of looks orange on my skin tone because I have a olive skin tone. Okay, didn't want to have to do it, but I'm taking another palette. This is ColourPop Plush by me. Fix this look, please. And I want to wipe off all the extra colors and then just diffuse this out. Don't worry, if you go too far out, you can always cover it up with foundation. I'm okay with that, I'm not touching it. Now we want shimmer. If I'm feeling fancy, I'll do gold, but this is monochrome, so we will just do a pinky shimmer right in the center. And this is what makes it a halo eye. You could also do green, you can do olive, you can even do blue. You can do any color with red, in my opinion. And I use my finger just because it's easier. And if I want to be more precise, I'm going to take a brush that looks like your typical paintbrush. It's flat, just to do right on top. There's like three different ways you can make it pop more. I am fine with it right now. I don't need it to be super blinding, but if you want your eyes to like blind someone when you look at them, you can put on an eye primer first and then put over it, or you can put on like something like glue even. Eyelash glue is what I meant. I've done them all. I prefer just doing it like this because I'm lazy. I'm gonna go back to that other red burgundy color and go around the edge just to make it a little more diffused. Sorry, I just saw myself in the mirror. We need to take out all of this shine. I'm gonna use Elf Putty Primer for that. This is also their Dunkin' Club, so it smells like donuts. Did that make me more shiny or something? What? It's because I had shimmer on my fingers, I think. Oh no, we can't have that. Okay, I'm just gonna powder then. There we go. Get rid of that shine. My primer probably looks patchy here just because 
that moisturizer I put on today does not work with this. I am very lazy, so I will literally just take the same brush I used for that initial red, and because we're fanning it out, we will we will go low. I will go all the way down there. I am gonna take the dark burgundy, put it underneath, and then do like a slight wing like that, and then taking that shimmer again, right in the center. There you go. All right, we're gonna do foundation now, but first, setting spray. If you're oily, do this trick. You do powder, then setting spray, and then foundation. I learned that from Jackie Ina. It just helps the oil not come through as much, and oil comes through from underneath your skin, so of course you want to powder to prevent that. No real point in setting your makeup at the end because it's you already layered it on. So I'm gonna take Kosas. This is one of my new favorite foundations. And because I hate using my hands, we're putting it on a... <laughs> this is from Milk as a palette. Before you say anything about the shade, let it settle for a second, okay? I was skeptical too. Okay, now I'm gonna take a sponge and just go over all of it, just so you get rid of the excess product and it makes it look better. Oh, I put that on backwards, I realized. If you feel like you went too far down with your eyeshadow, just take your foundation. You can even use like a small brush and just go right over it just to make it blend out. See how the red came off there? Next up, we're gonna bronze. I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty bronzer. I'm also gonna take this cool brush from Morphe. Oh, we match. And I'm not gonna draw on it because I'm not crazy. Don't ruin your foundation just for bronzer. Just do this. I go here, do it here. I'll even do some around my nose, under here, under my chin. Blush. Just use the same blush that matches the color of the eyeshadow. We're literally gonna go into the eyeshadow. So I'm starting off with the burgundy. I take my blush all the way up here. It's just the way I do it, y'all. And then a secret trick. I don't really tell people this. This is how I do my blush in the center. Think of like pinching your nose or when you used to swim, you would put that thing on your nose. Or if you're Asian like me, your mom bought you a nose pincher because she thought it would make your nose smaller. That same area. So for Rare Beauty, again, I'm taking the color Inspire. Is there lipstick? That. I don't normally do a lip this loud, but I'm gonna blend it out with a lip brush. I've done like four different layers of lipstick. Okay, like that. And I'm gonna finish with a gold gloss. This is my favorite gloss of all time. Oh, how could I forget my inner corner? Uh-uh, no, never forget this. If you do this inner corner highlight, I guarantee you make more money. I don't like it when my brows move, so I like taking this e.l.f. brow lift, and I take the brush that comes with it, slather it through. Not a big fan of laminating. When people do like soap brows, they just like shove it flat and then do this. No, I like it to be spiky. I want people to know these are real brows because I do have good brows. I'm going to show them off. Only thing I do to flatten it is take the end just so it goes up. So I go up flat. I've been trying to grow out my brows. So excuse me if they're a little bit more bushy than usual. I just, I want thicker brows. Just like one more centimeter, one millimeter. That's all I want. I know I'm very lucky to have these brows, but I just want a little bit more. And if you have naturally good brows, you don't really need much to fill them in. I just take Rare Beauty, the powder. These are technically liner brushes, but they work great to make eyebrow hairs. So I just do little strokes, typically only on the bottom because bottoms deserve more attention, especially during Pride Month. <laughs> I'm taking Rare Beauty again, one dot here, one dot there, one right there, one right there. And if you have extra, just put it here, put it there, put it where anywhere light hits. And this is red. This is Taylor Swift red. This is going to Valentine's Day dinner. This is also just showing up as Mrs. Claus. I mean, you can do so many looks for this, but basically, you just want to look sultry because that's what red is supposed to do. I know everyone wants to kiss these lips. That's, that's the feeling I want to give. Next up, we're going to do orange. I'm not going to wipe off all my makeup because I'd rather not <laughs> like wash off all the progress I'm just gonna do my lip and my eyes mainly so I actually wanted to talk about the partnership I'm doing if you're a skincare junkie you know how important this is and how important this collaboration is to me this is Crave Beauty's newest launch it's their makeup rewind oil jelly cleanser if you know me you know I oh, <laughs> I love a good double cleanse and that's basically when you take an oil cleanser or a balm and then you follow up with a water-based cleanser we do this especially if you're wearing makeup or sunscreen and you're going out because Oil cleanses get rid of the excess oil on your skin, the sebum production, dirt, sunscreen, all of that stuff. Makeup wipes, what are those? We don't speak of that. Don't bring that into this Asian household. I know a lot of people care about being more eco-friendly, environmentally conscious, so listen up, y'all. This is actually made from grapeseed oil, which is the waste of the wine industry. So instead of throwing that out and not using it, put it into this. The packaging is also made from 40% recycled material. So let me just show you the texture, okay? You see how smooth this is? It's not a balm. It's not thick as a cleanser either. It's an in-between. It just feels like a really moisturizing oil. That's it. So I'm just gonna take off this in front of y'all. Obviously I do this in the wash, but bam, look at that. And then on the eyes, Let's see, I'm not speeding up, I'm not gonna pause, just going to show you all 
how it's melting it off. I will be taking this off with the cotton pad because if this red gets all over my skin, it's downhill from here. It feels soft, it's getting in my eye and it's not stinging either. Oh no, here we go. I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom for that. But it's literally going to my eye. I'm blinking right now, not stinging my eyes. This looks so bad. I look so weird right now. Some cleansing balms tend to sting my eyes, so I'm glad that I can use this. I use this specifically for my eyes now because I don't want to get rid of all of it. I want to keep this as long as I can. I'm gonna get a cotton pad and show you all how much it wiped off. I love me a good reusable cotton pad, so I just dab and then slightly tap and drag away because I don't want to pull on my skin. If I don't have to get wrinkles early, I'm not going to force it. So just do this. Take care of your eyes, y'all. Your eyes are very sensitive. You don't want to ruin them. Look at that. That's one round without water, mind you, because I'm not trying to put water on my face right now. So I wet this cotton pad just a little bit and now I'm going to just rub around a little bit because you're meant to combine water with this product every oil cleanser it emulsifies with water so it's going to get milky and that's when you're able to wash it off so it doesn't leave an oily residue as you can see this is dry hopefully you saw this was going all over my eyes nothing no tears left to cry <laughs> what about that i am going to take off the rest of the foundation at the end with a purple look so i will show you how effective it is with taking off all of my makeup but for now we got to move on to orange so Hey, sorry, I'm gonna do this on my mustache because it's a little bit, she's a little gray right now and that's not part of my fantasy. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup a little bit, you know, refresh her. We're gonna have a lot of layers of foundation on eventually, so we're gonna see how well this cleanser holds up. I already know it's gonna work because I've been using it a lot, but I'm gonna show you as well. So more foundation. How do you do with all this cat hair on your face? I can't. So orange, I'm gonna go with a cut crease, half cut crease. I feel like it's the go-to look for fall and spring, summer, year round. How about that? Maybe not winter. And it kind of combines yellow as well because I rarely see people not use yellow in an orange look. Also yellow on my skin tone is like very hard to pull off. It just eventually looks orange. So I'm gonna start off with this palette from ColourPop. I'm gonna do this mustardy yellow up here all over the lid. We just wanna get a good base. And this time we're gonna wing it so right there that's where we want the wing to be everything else follows the same shape i just it's my go-to shape it's the most flattering on me oh there's some red in my eyebrow get it out get her out i don't like doing my wing all the way up there just because it doesn't look it doesn't look right my eyes literally droop do you see this like they're they're going down so why would i bother trying to go against the grain i tend to work with what i got you know i like my features i learned to love myself which y'all should do more by the way it's acne awareness month so i don't want to hear anyone talk about my skin because i'm very proud of my journey and we all know i will get clear skin eventually we've seen it we know it's possible i just like eating a lot of cheese and i'm trying to catch up on sleep so yeah once i do that i'll get back to you i don't have to talk about this but i'm choosing to crave beauty they're also donating to one of these organizations in New York City, specifically for black trans women, that I told them, hey, do you mind if we do this? Because they asked me, what organization would you like us to donate to? And I was like, well, I know everyone talks about the Trevor Project and it gets better, which is great. I'm so happy that those organizations are getting the attention they deserve. I just, I don't want to like force all of those. I don't want people to think, oh, if you just donate to those two, life will be easy for everyone. I prefer doing things more local and bringing attention to like the groups and organizations that don't get as much donations or money and are still being impacted by the AIDS epidemic and just like, you know, years of marginalization. <laughs> Getting healthcare access is not fun. So yeah, just check out the organization. I'll link it. This is a bad segue, but I was using Friendship and this color energy to just go in my crease. And by crease, I mean the crease I'm gonna create because we got monolids here. You just wanna go high enough so that when you create the crease, you can still see this color because you wanna keep the depth. If you're doing a cut crease, but there's no shadow above it, then the cut crease is gonna disappear. If you want it to be more sultry, you could put brown in this. Actually, we'll try it. Let's do a brown eyeliner. This is waterproof. And if you notice how I do my eyeliner, it's not up. We follow what we're given with. So it's more out. Anything and then I connect it underneath. Does that make sense? I hope you can see it. I don't like a big liner, I'm not a big fan. I'm also going to line my waterline. This will be fun with a yellow liner. How I hate this. <laughs> I'm doing this for y'all, by the way. I rarely ever do this in real life, but it does make the eyes pop more, so that's okay. I'm just
just for y'all. Oh, it's making my eyes water. All right, it's cut crease time. Sometimes you can do concealer. I'm just gonna pack on eyeshadow. See that? That's my crease. And notice how you can see the orange above it as well. If you have to, you can just redraw that with like a liner brush and then blend it out. But I nowadays don't even bother with concealer because and I know it makes it pop more and it makes the shimmer stick on more. But then you have to blend this part out. And like, if you just don't do that, you just do this instead and it just blends out on its own. I don't have the patience when I have to do seven looks, y'all. Okay, give me a break. Also, let me know what you prefer on my eye shape. I can't tell if I like the halo eye, which is the red look, or this cut crease more. Next, I'm gonna take this shimmery eye stick, just put it in the center, and then the lightest shimmer in this, and then the lightest shimmer right there in the inner corner. Oh, so good. I don't usually wear mascara, so... If you want to, go ahead. It's time for orange blush. Orange, in my opinion, peaches are the best blush for olive skin tones like me. Because it just looks so effortless, like watch. This blush is also just really good, so that's why. But look at me. Don't forget the button nose. Now, we do not hold back in this household, so if you ever feel like you need a little bit more, just take the shadow, put it right there. Everyone always says blush is the first thing to fade away on your cheek. Just use eyeshadow, it will not fade. So I took that yellow first, but then right for a pop of color, we take orange in the center. And then we're putting that orange towards the back of our cheek, like the end, back end of our cheek, just so it creates that natural contour effect. And look at like, look, oh my God. Also, if you need to make a good blush placement and you can't find a small brush, just pinch and then go. Like, who cares? I will go heavier with orange blush just because it's like, you want to look sun-kissed, you want it to be everywhere. Some on the chin even, like, don't be scared, don't be scared, y'all just put it everywhere. I'm trying to warm up the face, naturally. I'm also getting quite shiny. One second while I transfer your call. Another trick, if you want to use multi-purpose, take your blush, put it as your lip. That was not English. Put it as your lip. This is Rare Beauty, look at the mini size. It's Joy, and it's like the perfect orange. For this look dab it in look at me oh and if you ever feel like your lips are still too pink and you want to go for full-on orange gently gently go over this with some yellow eyeshadow preferably around the edge of glory and i'm even going to use a yellow lip gloss this time some people think like what are you sure about that this one from mac just watch i'll let you see the perfect tone of yellow that matches this shimmer it's just so, never thought it would work. Back it up, pose. All right, you know what time it is. I'm gonna take a little bit this time. Last time I was just showing you the texture and it got everywhere. This much, watch and learn, everyone. I'm only gonna take off my eyes this time because the next look, we need this other color. We're gonna get that eyeliner out. We're gonna get that under eye out, that waterline, hopefully. Inner corner, just go in circles, gentle circles. Nice motions. Not gonna lie, I don't, I don't mind that look. I don't mind this look, the glossy look. I don't mind it. Maybe I'll just walk out like this. Hitting y'all, or am I? By the way, these are rewashable cotton pads. I don't use these for my toners when I'm doing skincare. I use thinner ones, but these thick ones, great for makeup. It's like a reusable makeup wipe. You just wash them after. Okay, honestly, I am happy with that. And my brows are still on. I am so proud of myself for avoiding my brows somehow. That took two minutes, so that took two minutes only, and I already feel good enough to move on to the next one. And so far, eyes aren't getting red. I'm putting my skin through it just to show you all how much I love this product. How do you do yellow on your eyes without looking like you have a medical condition? I think it's called jaundice. Well, since you asked, you take a liquid shadow. You can take a liquid eyeliner, you can do whatever you want with these, and you wanna go neon with it. So this is from About Face. This is Halsey's brand. For some reason, people don't talk about this more. I don't know why. Look at this. I don't do this ever, but we're just gonna do a bold, eye look. It doesn't dry down as fast as I wish it did. I mean, that's fine, but like, I just, I want it to be full coverage right now. Wait, I need to change my outfit. There we go. So I'm just gonna go with something very pop art, a little bit 60s, I guess. Oh God, I'm trying to make this even. Not gonna happen. The trick is to have a dead stare. You could take a brush and outline, but I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm doing a pretty good job, I feel like though. Well, when this dries down, it's not supposed to budge, so. Hopefully this dries down. Okay, they're not even neighbors, so you're gonna have to deal with it. I think I'm gonna do like fake eyelashes down. This is avant-garde. This is not what I would do every day. Yeah, so I'm not the biggest fan of this look. I don't know what, I was just trying to do something fun, okay? I thought it would be fun. You know what, maybe we can add, you know what, maybe we can add some electric stamps to it or something, like a lightning bolt, maybe? I don't know. Is that cuter? Who knows? Honestly, I think if I just didn't do white down there, if I just did like, 
black would have been fine. But now I'm going to show you all how to do yellow blush. Basically, it's going to be orange at the end, or it's going to look like a clown. And I already look like a clown, so let's just keep furthering that. It's super hard to get yellow to pick up, so you're probably going to want to do like one dot of this right there. Just go for it. We're here already. Might as well keep going. And not going to lie, when you blend it out, I like the... That makes a good base. I should have just done that the first time. What is it giving? Is it doing nothing? It's doing nothing for me. Doing literally nothing. You know, this would probably only work on like tall models on a runway. Not for me. But I did it. This is yellow. <laughs> I can't even pose. All right, Crave. We got a lot to work with here. We got to take off the waterproof eyeliner thing, the stamp, and all of this. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Oh, it's crunchy. Oh, that about face is a lot of layers. This is the look. Yes. All right, here we go. Done. I don't want to drag this, but I'm also not using the water fountain. So, oh wait, I'm gonna use a little bit more because that eyeliner stamp wants to be stubborn. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some water. Okay, I'm back. I wasn't recording, but I haven't done too much. I'm back with the shirt, the one y'all love to say I wear too much, too bad. Skin's looking good still. I reapplied some foundation and yeah, the fact that it's holding up after all these hours, like this foundation's great. So I'm taking Glisten Cosmetics liners. I do have a coupon code. They, these are the pair. I use both the liners and the brushes. Frederick 20, it's an affiliate link. Go use it if you want it. And they're water activated. So I wanted to do like a little liner because I rarely do this, but when I do, it does look nice. I know most people want me to do like that green eyeshadow I do and the blue because those are the most common colors I use. It's just the halo eye or the cut crease. Just use the different colors instead. I'm trying to show you all versatility. So these actually dry down very well. I'll show you all how they don't budge once they're dry. And the trick to doing this is to not speak. And if you do mess up, just go in with concealer after. You'll be fine. I'm also gonna do little inner corner. Not the most common look I'd go for. Normally I would just do regular shadow, but I mean, it's fun for those who want to do it. With green, you want to go like more peachy colors, like green and pink are great. So I just take this lip tint. Everyone likes this lip tint. You always keep asking me for it. I don't have a green gloss, unfortunately. So I'll just do this and I'll keep the blush subtle this time because you don't want to go over that liner. Sometimes you might even want to do the blush before the liner, but think about complementary colors, red and green, Go well together because Christmas and also complementary colors but since we're not doing Christmas themed we're gonna go with pink instead because it's the closest counterpart and there you go now let's take it off let's just get it clear okay I don't like doing this but she does not come off she does not I was double checking she does not come off if it's raining run for help because these are water activated so I'm gonna use even less than before see how well this actually works in theory because these are water soluble they're supposed to be washed off with water so this is probably not doing it justice but it's still coming off i've got nothing on crave oh i like that see the now this looks like my normal makeup i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get a wet cotton pad and show y'all bam it's not even a competition on to the next one i haven't worn this in such a long time but we're gonna do a pastel look still looking good we're not gonna do the base again because the blue is still gonna be like peachy blush and, and it kind of fainted. It's okay, that's not the focus. I'm gonna use another liner and I'm gonna do both colors this time. You can also spray it with setting spray and taking Rare Beauty because it's just so good. And that just helped it last longer, in my opinion. But instead of taking the front of the brush, we're gonna take the back of the brush and mix this time. So I'm gonna start off on the sky blue side and get it nice and wet. Y'all, do not bother wasting your time with trying to figure out how to do a perfect circle. Just do this. And I'm also gonna try to pretend that I'm doing one, two, and then there. You can also just do circles to make them bigger. If you're gonna do this, I like putting the lighter color where the inner corner, bottom, and outer will meet because that makes your eyes pop more as where I normally put my crystals. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we're just gonna put one up here. So four, I should've just said four. In every eyeshadow look, you normally put the brightest colors in these areas, specifically shimmers to get the halo eye, or to make your inner corner pop more. You'll notice the difference once you try both. And then I'm gonna take the other side. I'm actually gonna let some of that pastel blue drip down just so I get like a royal blue instead. I've seen people turn these into flower petals. They like drag them out and turn it into lines instead. You can do a lot of things. It just depends if it looks stupid or not. This might look stupid right now, but I don't care. 
because it's fun. You need the right type of confidence and outfit to pull this off, I feel like. Me, this, never. I would only do regular eyeshadow, but it's still fun. I actually think it's better without my glasses for once, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Y'all tell me. I feel naked without my glasses every time, but we're gonna take these off now. This one is so easy to do because you just go in circles this time. I look like I've been through it. Oh, I'm sorry, did you wanna do the makeup? Then get out. Okay, I feel like we've been here before. I think I'm gonna do something that looks like the packaging of this. That, that sort of matches. We'll figure it out. And I actually want to see how this works as an eyeshadow base this time. Oh my god. Why did I not know about this sooner? All right, I'm obsessed with this. I'm just gonna do something glitter. I want to do something glittery. I want to do something that is pastel and purple. Not NYU purple. We already did that in another video. I think in order to get this color, we gotta mix it with this color. But also this color somehow. Oh yeah. Oh, I did that. Look at my ability to match colors. I'm fine with just that, but we gotta get a little bit pinky. Oh my God, I'm so good. Look at that. Okay, I'm really proud of myself for literally matching this somehow with these two palettes. Now we're gonna finish with the full face. Back it up a little bit for y'all. So we're going to rub it in between first, clip my hair back. Now I'm ready. So as y'all can see, my redness is coming back. That is not from this cleanser. It's just my face because it is very hot in here right now. So I am kind of steaming, but either way, you can tell the foundation's coming off. I mean, you can see my skin again. So normally when I oil cleanse, I can go for like a good 10 minutes just massaging. You don't have to do that every day, but if you do this for a good amount of time, eventually because you massage and you're warming up your face, combined with the oil, it just like loosens up all those pores right here especially around your nose and you can get rid of like old blackheads that have been there for a while and I know this works because I've seen it happen I just see like little chunks of whiteheads or blackheads basically you just want to create a slip and I just like to massage my face because it just feels so good you want skincare to be like a ritual at least for me it is so you want to enjoy it give yourself a massage you don't need to get a facial for that you have your hands right here also this just helps bring circulation to your skin it also helps with the lymphatic system if you take the time to actually do this and then push here and then push up here. Remy, and as you can see all that eyeshadow, where, where to go? I don't even know. As much as I would like to keep doing this, I will wash it off to show you all what my skin looks like fresh. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I did put on a moisturizer really quick just because I did not want trans epidermal water loss. I think that's what it's called. Basically, it's what happens when you wash your face and you don't put anything on for a while. So then it just keeps drying it out because the water in your skin is going into the air. But I haven't even double cleansed yet because I'm going to wait until tonight. I still got more things to do. And my skin does not feel oily. It's just, it's shiny because it's moisturized. This is not comedogenic. It's not gonna clog your pores. It's grapeseed oil, vitamin E oil, and sunflower seed oil. So like the oils in this product aren't going to stay on your skin or give you acne. That we need to get rid of that idea that oil is bad for oily skin. Y'all know I dunk my face in Vaseline at night because it just makes your skin better in the morning. The main reason people break out even when things are non comedogenic is because you're not cleansing enough. So then when you put on moisturizer or something that's like Vaseline or something that's very thick over it, it traps that dirt in and then it becomes acne. And that's why we use double cleansers. And that's why we use oil cleansers to prevent this. And it's sunflower seed oil. My favorite flower, so why can't I like it? Thank you again to Crave Beauty for partnering with me today. And that's the end of today's video. If you want to see more of these makeup videos, just follow me on my second channel, Lesson 3, where I do dedicated makeup and skincare videos, or just on Instagram and TikTok. That's where I post the other stuff. Like this video if you enjoyed, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos every week. And as always, I love you all, and everything is Lesson 3. And now I have to do another makeup look to do this on TikTok. So I'm going to wash my face again. Isn't that right, Remy?